is I, Serenity, Soul Invictus, your esoteric empress. Thanks again for watching. You guys, today we're talking about manifesting. Yes, manifesting. Because it is a very important topic to me. We're talking about how to get out of your own way. Okay, to speed up the process. To bring whatever it is that you want into your life as quickly as possible with perfect grace and in perfect ways, right? So today, we're talking about how to manifest in five steps and getting out of your own way so that this happens effortlessly. So when I say getting out of my own way, your own way, our own way, we're talking about just what it sounds like, getting out of the way of things coming to fruition in our lives. This is happening on a mental level, an emotional level, first and foremost. Getting out of your own way means getting out of your head because when we think about things on such a logical basis, from a logical standpoint, we actually create a whole heap of re resistance in, our, in the process of the law of attraction happening. We actually are going to create even more obstacles than are actually there. So when we, when we say getting out of our own way, we mean stop looking, I mean stop looking so much at things with the physical, ears, eyes, nose, mouth, stop being so present in the physical and go within. Because if you actually start to study new thought, if you actually learn of the teachings of Neville Goddard, Thomas Troward, you know, there are so many different names that I can call, these people have understood the science of the mind and mind is everything so if you learn how to control where your mind directs you where your thoughts go you are able to control exactly what happens to you in this on this earth plane and in this life okay so when i say ignore the things that are around you that are seemingly obstacles to you because in fact when you believe that everything is working against you that there are so many things happening trying to stop you from getting what it is that you want your belief is hardening into fact that is something that you are actually manifesting when you think you're not manifesting you are actually manifesting but you're manifesting what you don't want this is absurd <laughs> Stop looking at things from the sense of reason. Stop. You gotta go crazy a little bit. You gotta like actually imagine what it is that you want to see. There are so many, so many pieces of evidence, so many testimonies, so many different stories to prove it. Okay, you just gotta give it a try. So, like I said, so that now is also if you hear things, if there are people people saying things negatively about what it is that you desire if there are just like that right we're gonna just let that glide on by because he's not stopping this video from taking place and he actually may be helping the manifestation process by actually taking this road today so this is exactly what I mean first and foremost when it comes to manifesting, manifesting is actually using the energy. Put yourself into physical reality through your thoughts, your feelings, and your beliefs. So if that is what the definition of manifesting is, then clearly exactly what I just said before that is going to show you how you must get out of your own head. You must ignore these things that you see around you in the physical because these things are only a result of somebody else's thought, somebody else's feelings, maybe your own, somebody else's beliefs, a thought, as a vision, as a picture in somebody's mind. The exact same way, whatever it is that you want to see has to begin in there. So getting out of your own way now, it's also about not just ignoring the physical evidence of things actually working against you, it's mentally, once you don't play into that, like you don't actually believe that you're seeing what you're seeing, you're not going to actually feel those negative emotions that come along with it. You're going to actually stay on a higher level, you're going to remain in a better vibrational mood. You're going to actually be happier. And like I said, happier people tend to manifest much better and much quicker. It's important to sometimes check out of this physical realm 
you know we have so much stimulus going on around us so much stimuli that we actually get overwhelmed and this keeps our 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 vibe low this keeps us stressed out it keeps us you know irritated it keeps us like confused and like you're not able to focus this is going to cloud your clarity and your vision you need to get away from that sometimes you need to find a way to just relax it's five steps that it takes in order for it to happen the first step is you got to know what you want knowing what you want you need to know what it is that you desire most you need to know why you desire it okay because you need to find out if it's something that you really want if it's really important to you you know what this thing truly means to you you know if you want a house not just because you want a house because you just want a house you know or you want that nice house you saw in better homes and gardens no you want a home because you actually want a home you actually want a sense of security you want a sense of, of protection and safety somewhere to go somewhere to be comfortable privacy all of these things those are the reasons why you really want a home right so go deep within yourself and figure out what it is that you really want and why you really want it of course um, as a part of the why how it's gonna benefit you as well as those around you um, how does it feel or how would it feel just like I said in a previous video asking yourself the question instead of just giving a statement or making a declaration ask the question you know how would it feel for me to have my dream home or to be in a nice and lovely home okay this is going to excite your, your inner being, this is going to bring up the emotional part of it that is going to actually start doing the work, that is going to start turning those the little engine in within, that is going to start on the invisible plane, in the subconscious, creating this atmosphere of you being in your own home, okay? The next step to manifesting is, just like I said before, getting out of your own way. This is getting rid of the things, whether it's emotional things, physical things, mental things, whatever it is, this is getting rid of the things that stand in your way as blockages that, that serve up resistance to whatever it is that can be coming your way, but it's like sketch, like, so you gotta <laughs> get them out of the way, right? So this can be a negative mindset that's in the way. This can be negative people usually 10 to 1 it's usually negative people that kind of get in the way and sometimes they're not doing it on purpose they just are who they are you know but the universe offers them up to see I guess it's as like a test to see just how prepared you are just how equipped you are do you know what you're doing do you understand how the law of attraction works you've been reading all these books you've been watching all of my videos other videos documentaries the secret all of this kind of stuff yeah here it is one person comes along and just shits all over it it's like you know now you just want to just grab them by the neck and choke them and spend the rest of your life in prison <laughs> Instead, you can be manifesting your dream home in the midst of them acting stupid or being an a-hole. You would fall weak and you let your emotions get the better of you. This is very important. Get rid of any type of things that stand in your way. Okay? These things hold you back greatly. Now, thinking of the time. This is something that also gets in the way as well. You're impatient. You're like, oh my gosh, like, you know, I only have this much time left. I don't know what I'm going to do if this runs up and I'm like, what am I going to do next? Like, this was not like, I don't have a plan B. I don't have a plan C. Like, I have to do this now. Like, it's like, okay, oh my gosh, like now can you have hurry up already? That is something you cannot rush. You can't rush the universe. The universe is timeless and so are you. Okay. So the spirit realm, they don't operate off of time my honeys <laughs> they operate independent of time and space okay and so you have to act the same way you have to act as if there is no time okay yes in the physical you want to give yourself a deadline you want to say buy this you want to set a spe specific you know like frame within like where you want to be and when however you have to remember that you're working with the infinite 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 there is no time okay so now there is a season for everything that does not necessarily mean 
that it's in your timing, your human timing, okay? We are spirit beings operating on a human level. So you have to remember that. This is very important. Um, then, of course, you have to also not feel as if you're still missing something. You have to still feel like everything is working out in your favor for your highest good. Okay, stop saying that, um, why am I not manifesting? Or why is this taking so long? Or when is this going to happen for me? Or I'm not doing something right. You've got to stop working against yourself. Okay, and that's just why I, I'm going to call this video that. That's why I'm going to use that as the topic. You're not gonna get in your own way now. You're actually getting out of your way okay in the term in terms of manifesting all right the next step to manifesting is to visualize what it is that you desire take time out of your busy day to sit down drink a nice cup of flipping tea drink some hot chocolate whatever it is a latte whatever you need whatever floats your boat okay and visualize don't force it because nothing we want nothing to be forced we want it to happen as smoothly and as naturally as possible so whenever it is that it arises within you whether it's at night before you go to bed which is the best time by the way to visualize and start like getting your imagination going when you first wake up in the morning when you're going to bed at night when you're relaxed when you're in that frame of mind where you're just about to just doze off this is the best time y'all so go within yourself and see the picture that you want to see and act as if it's already happened formulate a picture that implies that what it is that you want has already come to you that it is now yours not that it's coming that it's here okay so if it is that you want a dream home picture yourself out on the veranda at sunrise like you know the breeze is blowing your frilly dress is just like and you're looking at the sunrise with such gratitude like oh my gosh this is just beautiful thank god for my dream home right the, that picture that ever, whatever that picture may be that's going to get you in the feeling of your manifestation being real the feeling that's what's most important like neville goddard says for you nevilles out there the feeling makes it real okay not just the picture the feeling of the picture all right then the next step is you got to start taking little actions to kind of get you to where it is that you want to go. It can just mean going through neighborhoods. This could just mean driving through neighborhoods and looking around at homes. This can mean going through websites or a magazine and looking at beautiful immaculate homes and like wow what kind of home would I like? What style suits me best? Or like you know which one of these homes would I be most comfortable in? What size home do I need? And you're just looking, you're just actually, you know, this is actually a step. This is putting in effort. This is doing the work because you're showing the universe now that you're actually doing something proactively toward what it is that you want in your life, okay? Um, if that is finding a new love or, you know, something like of that nature, you want to start loving yourself you want to start becoming the love the essence of the love that you want to receive you're going to start taking better care of yourself you're going to start preparing you know you're making space now you're like okay i'm going to clear this clutter because when i actually have a significant other they're going to need space to actually hang out with me we're going to need to you know do things so you actually are showing the universe showing yourself showing infinite spirit that you are ready for whatever it is that this that you're asking for okay and the last step not the least but the last <laughs> or not the last but the least but you want to actually start to notice be grateful for the signs and synchronicities you want to look around because every day the universe is going to serve up signs that this thing that you're asking for is closer and closer and closer to you just waking up in the morning is a sign, okay? That means that you're one day closer to it actually coming to pass, okay? Seeing the sunrise is definitely something to be grateful for because anything is possible. You don't know what miracles this day can bring. So this is definitely something that you wanna be happy about, okay? You know that you've, you've done the work, you're still doing the work, you know, effortlessly. 
you want to actually now realize that the universe is working along with you. Trust the process, all right? The universe always provides, and it knows inherently what we want. Sometimes we ask in the wrong way, and that's why we get the wrong results. So start asking in the right way. Consider things as proof here now, okay? You're, you're, you're looking and you're seeing people say, hmm, wow, I know you'd be so happy to be in your own home right now. You've never said this to anybody, but somebody comes and says it to you. Oh, I was just walking, I guess, along with a friend the other day, and they were showing me this house, uh, whatever, on the ridge, and I thought about you. I'm like, wow, Sue would just love that house. That's a sign in the right direction. That means actually something is happening, infinite intelligence. Something is, some web is actually being woven out there with your name right in it, okay? This is very important. These are things to take note of. You're gonna have dreams, you may have dreams, you may hear songs with lyrics about something to do with the same thing that you're asking for, okay? Do not go out there spilling the things that you desire out to the whole world. Keep it private. This is between you and the universe, okay? Very important, y'all, very important. You're actually going to concentrate the energy right where it needs to stay, all right? Focus that energy. Do not go and disperse it all over the place. Focus it right where it needs to stay. And of course, share positive vibes when you see other persons manifesting that the things that they wanted so badly, be happy for them, be thankful for them, and trust and know that if it happens for them, this is why you're happy. Because if it can happen for them, it definitely and most certainly will happen for you, okay? So you guys, there you have it. Those are the steps to get out of your own way and help your manifestations come to pass like that. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've done this already. If there were two, I would urge you to hit the two of them. But that is your energetic contribution to the channel just by giving it a thumbs up just by this allows other people to actually see the video as well keeps it up on the results all right and it shows your support and your love and i love you for doing that as well as subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell leave your feedback below let me know if there are any other steps that you think we can take to get out of our own way okay because now it's october baby <laughs> it's manifestation season time to harvest that which we've been planting, the seeds we've been planting, like from summer, from spring and summer, this is harvest time. And so it's time to get serious and just sit back, bask, and wait on our manifestations. Okay, you guys, thanks for watching once again. Love you all. And until I come back with another great video, I'm gonna say peace and love, blessed be, namaste.